do you want to create a headline like this that makes people stop and take notice? That's exactly what I'm going to show you today. I'll show you three different text headlines and place an image right inside it, making it clean, bold and visually striking. Then you can take it a step further by creating multiple shapes filled with images to create a dynamic modern layout. And finally, I'll show you how to add a glass morphism effect to the same text. Don't worry, it's not complicated at all. And I'll only be using Elementor for the design and custom CSS code for the effect. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to recreate this design for your own website. Everything from blur effects to adding images inside the text. To start the design, I'll create the main container that will have the background image and the other elements. First, add a new section by clicking plus. Then I'll head over to the layout settings and set the content width to full width. Next, I'll adjust the height to VH and set it to 100 VH, which ensures the container covers the full screen. With the dimension set, I'll navigate to the style tab to add a background image. Click here, upload the image from here, then set the position to center center, attachment to default, repeat to no repeat and the size to cover for a clean full screen look. Finally, in that one step, I'll assign a CSS class name blur-bg and add this CSS code to create a blurred background effect which I will link in the description below. Next, I'll add a nested container inside this main section that will hold the different elements for the left and right sections. I'll drag a container here and set its direction to this. Now justify content, set to center and set the same background image options as before. Upload the image, set the position to center center, repeat to no repeat and the size to cover. To ensure the layout doesn't feel cramped, I'll also add some margins and padding from the advanced tab like this. All right, I'll start adding content for the left section. First, I'll add another container inside the nested container, set its width to full width, the direction to this, and justify the content to the center. In the advanced tab, I'll add padding of 140 pixels at the top, zero on the sides, and 30 pixel at the bottom for spacing. Next, I'll drag a heading widget inside this section and set the text to AFRI. Now, I'll customize it by setting the color to black, alignment to the right, font to pop-ins, weight to 900, and a few other changes like this. I'll add another heading widget for the second part of the heading and set the text to rain f dot. The styling options are the same as before. So let's quickly do that. I'll then add a text editor widget under the headings to add some description and set the style. Once done, it should look like this. Finally, I'll add a button widget for a call to action. So let's do that. The button text will say read more and I'll style it with a semi-transparent background, 10 pixel border radius and padding of 18 pixels top and bottom and 30 pixels left and right. With the left section almost complete, let's add the code for the image inside text and the glass morphism effect. So select the advanced tab, scroll down to the custom CSS code section, go to the description, copy the code, come back and paste it here. This gives you the final effect with the glassy depth that makes it all together. Now let's make the right section. I'll add another container and a navigation menu widget to add the menu items. I'll choose the menu, set the text color to white and align it to the right. Below this, I'll add two heading widgets to complete the main headline. The first heading will say CAN 
with white text and the second heading below will say O R E S T. Okay, now I'll just repeat the process. Go to the left, style it a bit, and once done, it should look like this. To finalize the design, I'll go back to the second inner container and set a border radius of 30 pixels. All right, let's preview the page to ensure everything looks perfect. Okay. Also, you can follow the same steps to make the different designs we showed you earlier. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.